Hi, this is Kyle with K-Debate again. Uh, I'm going to be talking about the subconscious or autonomous human movements and actions. That pretty much means the things that you can't control or the things you, you do when you're not paying attention that seem to be like automatic. Uh, some of them you can control, but some of them are situational and some of them you just can't control at all. So I'll start with yawning. Yawning is kind of it's a psychological thing, but it's also a physical thing. It, when you're tired, your body will make you yawn to wake you up. Yawning is where it puts a lot of oxygen into your brain. Uh, that's why you can hyperventilate very easily if you yawn uh, when you're on oxygen. It's very dangerous. It's the same as laughing. Uh, when you're laughing, uh, it puts a lot of oxygen into your brain. Very, very easily, um, very easy to uh, get too much oxygen there. Uh, causes bubbles and causes damage. Sneezing. Uh, sneezing is when the parts of your nose that have smell get irritated, and you get that pretty much means, hey, I have something blocking my my uh, nose, and or in my sinuses, and sneezing is to expel it. So when you're sick, you have a lot of inflammation in your nose and your sinuses, and this is, hey, there's stuff in there, and you sneeze a lot. Uh, so that's that one. Have, you cannot sneeze with your eyes open, at least not that I've ever seen. Uh, so that's another reaction within another action. Hiccups. Hiccups is when your, um, not your voice box, it's something in your throat gets, uh, gets starting to spasm, causes hiccups. So uh, popcorn is a very major irritant in that. I don't know why. That's why you get hiccups a lot when you eat popcorn. Your heartbeat. You cannot control your heartbeat at all. Uh, you can control situations where your heartbeat speeds up or slows down, uh, such as running a lot or staying calm or getting really scared, stuff like that. That stuff will change your heart rate. Um, very situational. <clears throat> Salivation is controlled by your hunger. It's a form of digestion. So it's subconscious. Your body does it when it feels it's going to get food. Uh, it's very apparent in dogs and stuff that salivate a lot. Um, but you can also salivate by keeping your mouth open for long periods of time or keeping something in your mouth because your body will try to compensate by putting more saliva. <coughs> Sweating. Sweating is completely unconscious. You cannot control it. Uh, but when you are nervous or when you are um, when you're extremely hot, when your body's trying to cool itself off, you sweat. Much like your heartbeat, you cannot control it, but you can control situations that cause it. Some people sweat more than others naturally. Breathing. Breathing is a necessary action for life. Therefore, your body feels it needs to breathe. You can stop breathing, but your body will do it naturally if you are not focusing on it. So it's kind of a subconscious, autonomous thing at the same time. If you hold your breath until you pass out, you'll start breathing when you lose consciousness. You can't hold your breath until you die. Um, <clears throat> unless somehow something causes you to do that after you pass out. Such as somebody putting a pillow over your face. Okay, twitching. Twitching is just like when your nerves start to spasm, when your muscles start to spasm. Uh, if your nerves are going crazy because you've got a major burn, you'll twitch because your muscles are constantly being told there's something wrong. Other things can twitch. Your eyelids can twitch, your tongue can twitch, whatever. Uh, you can even twitch on purpose by uh, over pulling on several muscles at the same time it causes your your body to twitch. Gag reflex. Your gag reflex is a kind of a thing to prevent you from ingesting the wrong kinds of things or to expel things that you have already ingested. Uh, losing your lunch, as you say. If you eat oysters that are bad, your body can tell that they are extremely bad and will say, hey, get that out of your stomach. Um, you really can't... You can, you can learn to control your gag reflex, such as when something that shouldn't be in your throat is in your throat, but it's very difficult to do. You have to learn how to do that. You have to, you have to tell your body to stop doing that. Um, that one's connected to vomiting. Uh, throw up for the same reason you gag. Because you should 
not have something there and it's bad. Blinking. Blinking is a big one. Uh, you can control your blinking. You can control not blinking. That. But your eyes burn and that causes you to want to blink. Because blinking prevents your eyes from drying out and burning. That's kind of a situational thing again. You can control it, but your body says no, and you do it again. Uh, digestion, big one. You cannot control your digestion. You can't say, I'm not going to digest this carrot, because you have no control over it. Um, when you are digesting something, and your body is just making everything go, sooner or later it will have to come out, and you can't stop it, not for long anyway causes health issues if you do. So a burp is gas coming up and a fart is gas coming out the other way. You really can't stop it. Not for, not indefinitely anyway. So really the mind and the body are connected. You can control some things, you can't control other things. Um, and your body usually wins in the end. And usually it's doing something you need to do anyway, so stopping it from happening is usually bad. Unless you shouldn't be doing it where you are, such as going to the bathroom in the living room. You don't want that. So there's a time and a place for everything, but your body usually deems when that is. So that's it for that. Have a nice day. Let me just go over my notes to make sure I found I said everything. Yep. Peace.